Moderation Management, Wikipedia Article Audio Moderation Management is a secular non-profit organization providing peer-run non-coercive support groups for anyone who would like to reduce their alcohol consumption. MM was founded in 1994 to create an alternative to Alcoholics Anonymous and similar addiction recovery groups for non-dependent problem drinkers who do not necessarily want to stop drinking, but moderate their amount of alcohol consumed to reduce its detrimental consequences. History Methodology Membership Literature Moderation Management was founded by Audrey Kishline, a problem drinker, who did not identify with the disease theory of alcoholism finding that it eroded her self-confidence. Kishline never experienced withdrawal symptoms and was able to hold a job and stay in school while drinking. Kishline found that she could moderate her drinking with the help of cognitive behavioral therapy principles and in 1994 founded Moderation Management as an organization for non-dependent problem drinkers to help maintain moderate alcohol use. MM maintains, however, that it is not for all problem drinkers, that there are some drinkers for whom abstinence will be the only solution. Kishline had asked many professionals for advice while she was establishing the fellowship, including psychologist Jeffrey A. Schaller, who wrote the foreword for the first edition of the book, Moderate Drinking, used in the organization and served on the original board of trustees for MM. In 1998, MM member Larry Froistad posted a confession that he murdered his five-year-old daughter on an official MM email list. Three of the approximately 200 members of the email list reported the confession to legal authorities. Froistad was sentenced to 30 years of prison. The incident has been studied as an online version of the bystander effect. Schaller who wrote the original foreword for the group's book, split ways with MM over the failure of MM's leadership to condemn member Larry Froistad after he admitted his murder, and over whether or not there was a medical distinction between problem drinkers and alcoholics, the latter having a disease and the former having a habit. Schaller's foreword was replaced with one by historian Ernest Kurtz in subsequent editions. In January 2000 Kishline posted a message to an official MM email list stating that she had concluded her best drinking goal was abstinence and that she would begin attending Alcoholics Anonymous, Smart Recovery and Women for Sobriety meetings while continuing to support MM for others. In March 2000, while drunk, she drove her truck the wrong way down a highway and hit another vehicle head-on killing its two passengers. MM continued to grow during Kishline's time in prison. She was released in August 2003 after serving three one-half years of her four one-half year sentence. MM allows members to set their own drinking goals as they feel appropriate. MM encourages members to follow particular drinking guidelines, limits, goal-setting techniques, and a nine-step cognitive behavioral change program. A moderate drinker The MM Limits Nine Steps Toward Moderation and Positive Lifestyle Changes The MM Limits and Guidelines were derived from the work of Dr. Martha Sanchez Craig. MM members are encouraged, but do not need to follow the suggested guidelines, limits, and steps. MM does not view non-dependent problem drinkers as alcoholics, but rather people with a bad, but controllable, habit. MM does not state that surrender or spirituality is needed to end or control the habit. MM literature makes a similar distinction to Alcoholics Anonymous literature that there are problem drinkers who can return to controlled drinking and alcoholics who cannot. 
MM groups give members a chance to identify with other problem drinkers and learn from the successes and failures of each other. Mutual support and encouragement is provided. Face-to-face -face meetings last about an hour, whereas online meetings are ongoing. Crosstalk, members interrupting each other to provide feedback during meetings, is allowed. Mental health professionals are allowed to help start MM meetings, but ultimate control must be left to the participants. A content analysis of online MM meetings found the most common types of communication by members were self-disclosure, provision of information and advice, and provision of emotional support. Similar studies of depression and eating disorder support groups have found the same patterns. The vast majority of face-to-face -face MM meetings occur in the United States. Active membership is estimated at about 500 people at any given moment, but with a larger number coming into contact with the organization through the Internet. Most MM members are white, employed, educated and on average are more secular than the rest of the population. MM attracts an equal number of men and women and a large number of people under 35 years of age with a much larger percentage of people who are over 35 years of age. MM members mostly describe themselves as being non-dependent problem drinkers. In general, MM members report having a mild history of substance abuse problems before joining, with 40% having consumed four or fewer drinks per drinking day and less than 10% experienced serious withdrawal symptoms or comorbid drug abuse. Considers an occasional drink to be a small, though enjoyable, part of life, has hobbies, interests and other ways to relax and enjoy life that do not include alcohol, usually has friends who are moderate drinkers or non-drinkers, generally has something to eat before, during, or soon after drinking, usually does not drink for longer than an hour or two on any particular occasion, usually does not drink faster than one drink per half hour, usually does not exceed the 0.055% BAC moderate drinking. Limit, feels comfortable with his or her use of alcohol. Strictly obey local laws regarding drinking and driving, do not drink in situations that would endanger yourself or others, do not drink every day. MM suggests that you abstain from drinking alcohol at least three or four days per week, women, who drink more than three drinks on any day, and more than nine drinks per week, may be drinking at harmful levels, men who drink more than four drinks on any day, and more than 14 drinks per week, may be drinking at harmful levels.